Right, ladies and gents, we are once again back on the class stand at Agritechnica 2023. Because as I mentioned before, when we were previously here with Michael talking all things tractors, it is 50 years of the Jaguar forage harvesters from class. So I'm now joined by Dean Cotty from uh, Class UK. He's just going to talk us through the Jags, sort of where we're up to, where we've come from, and this special edition machine that we've got behind us as well. So. Yeah, 50 years of Jags, Dean. Yeah, so 19, that is a long time, yeah, isn't it? 1973, first year of production for self-propelled Jags. Right. We had a few years before with trailed machines. And then to show uh, to show what we've done, every new machine for 2024 gets a nice signature sticker on the side that shows the outline of all the generations. Right. So you find the SF at the far end, 600 series, 800 series, 900 series, TerraTrack. And 50 years. So yeah. every new forager sold in the UK for 2024 will have the new graphics on the side. And then our one-off um, special edition machine is the 990 Terra Track this you see is, here. This is a one-off. This is a one-off. Has this been bought? Uh, not yet. Not yet. However, we do have about 10 to 15 marketing machines that will be floating around the world. Right. So Class UK, we've got ordered a 970 wheel machine as our 50-year special edition. So right. same colour scheme with the dark grey and the green. Um, so that one will be going around the dealer network, different shows and events uh, this autumn and next summer, right through to yeah. next May season. I see. I mean, just looking at the green spout, that's almost like harking back to the you know the, the previous models that had the green spouts before that's, you went with the white spout. That's why it's there. So right. 50 years of machines just to, tries to highlight some of the bits we've had in the past. So yeah. SF 600 series of green spout. This machine just the same green spout on it. Yeah. Unreal. And have you? I mean, would you have any idea how many? Forages you've sold in that time because oh. it must. Yeah, so we've built over forty-five thousand in that time. Is that self-propelled? Self-propelled. Self-propelled. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So if you remember, we had the forty thousand special edition yeah. machine not that long ago. I'm just saying. So we've made over forty-five thousand worldwide. Uh, we sold the three thousand self-propelled to Clash UK customer earlier this year. Yeah. So us in the UK, we've done uh, over three thousand of them since 1973. Um, so yeah, if you say, for example, you sell a machine once, it gets sold second hand, there's nearly, there's easily actually over 100,000 Jaguar owners worldwide. Wow. And you just mentioned the UK there, presumably we're a big customer of these. Yes, absolutely. So right from the start, we transitioned from trail machines into self-propelled, but where Clash UK really took off with self-propelled uh, sales was at the end of 600 series, beginning of 800 series. Yeah, that's so where it really got into its stride. Yeah, right, from, right from we moved from uh, 695s to 820s, 840s, 860s, 880s, that's yeah. when our market share really started to increase. Right. And ever since, you say, the mid-90s, we're over half the market as Clash UK, yeah. so we're very proud of. Believe me that. Um, but again, a lot of that's thanks to very good dealer network, parts and service backup, and a lot of loyalty from our customers as well. I see, you got it sussed, don't you? Especially that backup. That's the that's what that it counts with these machines, isn't yeah, it? You can't the have these stopped difference. for very long. That's yeah, absolutely, it. yeah. So, yeah, just talk us, I mean, we started at the back end, you got the new decals on there, colour scheme. Just talk us through this machine in particular. I mean, you got another decal here. Yeah, this, so. What's this? So that is our little Jaguar mouth. That's where crop flow is going in. Yeah. So the, the bit that to me is really important is the unstoppable. And yeah. that for us is what Jaguar is. So for sales, market share, it is unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, something we're very, very proud of. And as class globally, Jaguar is the most successful machine we build in terms of market share. It is world leader. Yeah. And pretty much every main market, Jaguar would be number one. There's yeah. one or two there. It's close between first or second position. So for us, it's the most successful machine we build. Yeah, by a long it. way. Very, very proud of it. And you've come a long way in that time. That's uh, that's a lot of years yes, building absolutely, jags. Absolutely, yeah. Where's it heading? What's on the horizon? Yeah. Can you even tell us? Can you even give us a hint? Yeah. So every time we launch a new generation machine, so we launched 500 series, 502 mm. series that's not long it, ago. Yeah. As soon as that one's launched, we're already working on its replacement. So it doesn't take long. You can never rest on your laurels. So one of Mr. Class's favorite phrases, if you want to be a leader, you must keep running. Yeah. That's exactly what we do. So launch a machine, already work on its replacement. Right. So for us, the crop flow you see in this machine here has been around since 1994. It's patented, it's still very, very I was efficient. I gonna say, because like, you're looking pretty much any Jag back all the way back to 94, the actual 
guts of it is very, very similar yeah. on every single one. If you were to flow. trace an outline of crop flow from shear bar to the end of the spike, especially this bit here through the yeah. accelerator, it is very, very similar. It's a patented system. So when we have a new generation machine, this is the bit that you really have to focus on. It's yeah. making sure it doesn't get any worse. You're going to try and make it so it's efficient and a little bit better. So for us, you have to see seven years in a field over various different seasons yeah. before a machine's even released. So for sure, there's uh, new machines on the horizon, but when we have a new machine, it is a new generation of machines. Yeah, good cool stuff. So there will be stuff to come, guaranteed. For sure. There's always something. You're not yeah. gonna hold on to 50% market share if you do not change and evolve and make the machine better and also bring what customers are after. So in the UK, yes, we sell quite a few 990s, but if you go to some like North America, it's their top selling model. The so, 990, yeah. yeah. absolutely. What's the top ones in the UK? So the most popular model we sell is a 970. Yeah, um, the biggest six cylinder. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, biggest MAN six cylinder we do. Um, so if you already have markets selling the top model as their most popular, for sure there's a need for more power. Right, so yeah, watch this space. Yeah, absolutely, heaven. yeah. <laughs> there we go. And um, yeah, just to sort of wrap up, I mean, product wise, what would you say are some of the latest and key updates that you brought to the market? last sort of 18 months, two years? So the last couple of seasons, real popular updates and options have been things like the twin variable header drive on the front. So with a grass yeah. header, you can vary the org and the picket reel separate. That's been quite popular. A key one for us being a very predominantly grass-based market is water injection. So extra ah, yeah. injection nozzles underneath the concave and at the base of the spout to wash the crop flow. So, so those you, really dry. Yeah, very gum, dry, gummy, sticky conditions, yeah. uh, which especially this last two seasons we've seen a lot of. That's been very popular. That's now available on 800 series like you see down there as well. So that's a real key one. There's always a growing interest in the technology and crop ingredient measurement, which we have. Mm. And especially the water injection system helps that because it washes and keeps the glass ah, lens right, yeah. and the NIR sensor clean. Yeah. So again, it's anyone on the market where we can actually wash the lens to again, keep the measurements as accurate as possible. Yeah. So those have been very popular options for us, uh, for sure. Good stuff. Well, Dean, thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. Absolutely no spot on, as always. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you around somewhere else. Very good, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, thanks for your time.